dear students today we are going to discuss about compound light microscope it is the most commonly used microscope in biological laboratory and it is an optical microscope we uh, already discussed in the introductory session that um, this compound light microscope is an optical microscope there was uh, there were a list of microscopes that we discussed among the optical microscopes so here the light source is Uh, the uh, source of uh, the source of illumination is light that's why it is known as optical microscope so it is used to obtain better magnification and resolution while utilizing visible light understood that is the main property of compound light microscope obtaining magnification and resolution using visible light that is the light rays which is having wavelength in the range of 380 to 740 nanometer that is visible light uh, the range of uh, wavelength where visible light is available visible rays are available okay 380 to 740 nanometer so this uh, the rays rays which is having wavelength this wavelength range is the source of illumination here and it is having the following components a compound microscope will be very familiar to you this is a compound light microscope and uh, you can see it is having a base there is a strong pillar then there is a mirror here which reflect the light um, which captures uh, the light and reflect it towards the um, specimen there is a substage condenser here substage condenser which is just above the mirror then there is the stage where the uh, specimen is kept there are clips to keep the specimen in position you can see the inclination joint where the arm is attached the arm can be seen then the objectives can be seen there will be more more than one objective lens in a compound light microscope so objectives can be seen here then the fine adjustment and the coarse adjustment two adjustments are there fine adjustment and coarse adjustment this is to move the objective closer or farther from the uh, specimen then you can see the eyepiece as well as the no space so ipis is the ocular lens ocular lens is known as the ipis that is another lens then the objective objective is the is another lens here objective is also a lens and ipis also lens so these are the two a two parts which is which is containing lens in this compound light microscope objectives and ips objective there will be more than one objective we can turn uh, and uh, uh, this revolving uh, part can be turned and we can put our required <coughs> objectives into the field so most often there will be 10x 40x or 45x and 100x in a compound light microscope 100x is usually used when we use oil uh, to view the specimen that is when we make the microscope into oil immersion type that is when we use uh, oil on the uh, specimen and then view it uh, through the microscope that time we use 100x objective next it is the mechanical parts means the description of the uh, parts of the compound light microscope mechanical parts of the compound light microscope so there is a base we already saw in the diagram in the picture and there is a base a very strong base so a horizontal base which is strong enough to support the entire microscope that is the base then there is a pillar pillar is a solid pillar stands vertically on the base and it holds all the other parts of the microscope 
also all the upper parts of the microscope that is the pillar then there is the arm so you you saw one curved part which is joint with an inclination joint so this curved region this region where we hold the microscope that is the arm of the microscope arm is the curved axial part that use that is used for handling the microscope then there is the inclination joint which is joining the arm and the base so this joint is the uh, that that joint we see between the arm and the base and it allows swiveling movement of the arm okay we can swivel the microscope using this inclination joint we can um, uh, make it according uh, to our convenience whether we are standing or sitting we can move the microscope to view the uh, object then there is the body tube it is a tubular portion to which uh, objective lens as well as ocular lens are fitted these are the two lens in this system in this microscope so this uh, the, to this tubular uh, uh, portion that is body tube at one end there is the ocular lens and at the other end there is the objective lens ocular lens is also known as eyepiece and the diagram we show earlier or the picture that we saw this one this is of that uh, this picture is that of a conventional uh, compound light microscope old model compound light microscope old and basic model okay <coughs> Next, uh, uh, this uh, body tube, it is attached to the upper part of the arm by rack and pinion arrangement. Okay, rack and pinion, that is the course, this course adjustment and uh, fine adjustment, it is for just very fine movement. It is mainly the course, course adjustment which will allow the body tube to move upward and lower. This is the rack and pinion arrangement. Then fine adjustment is uh, allows us to move uh, the body tube uh, it, uh, in uh, uh, mm length okay millimeter length so that we can focus on the specimen so this uh, body tube is usually 160 mm in length then there are three types of body tubes for microscopes three types of uh, microscopes are there according to the body tubes present in the microscope monocular body tube here uh, the my, uh, specimen is viewed only with one eye at a time that is monocular only one uh, uh, eyepiece will be there to view the object that is monocular body type then binocular uh, tube is used for viewing with both eyes simultaneously so we, the, we view the specimen with both our eyes that is binocular then combined photo binocular type here there is a provision for an extra tube for photography along with binocular tube there will be binocular tube as well as a tube to fix the camera that is combined photo binocular type next is the draw tube it is a very narrow tube at the upper end of the body tube already there is a no body tube to which uh, one area one end there is the ocular and the, to the other end there is the um, objective lens so here there is a, again a narrow tube at the upper part, um, end of the body tube and it is this narrow tube which holds the ocular lens or the eyepiece next is nose piece <coughs> it is a circular disc shaped part attached to the lower end of the body tube and here the objective lenses are fitted to this nose piece it is it, it it can be revolved also it is a revolving nose piece this circular this circular region to which objectives are attached that is known as the nose piece and it can be revolved so that with different objectives can be put into field Then there is the stage or the platform. This is a rectangular or circular board with a central opening. Okay, it can be rectangular or it can be circular. 
the slide with the object to be examined or the specimen to be examined is mounted on the stage this is the stage you can see there is a circular opening through which light can pass here there is a mirror at the bottom and which capture and reflects the uh, light and it passes through that circular opening to reach the uh, slide an objective is focused on the slide so that is the stage or the platform then there are stage clips stage clips it is on the stage we can fix the slide using this stage clips and there is course adjustment as well as fine adjustment that is on the body tube so course adjustment i already told this it is a rack and pinion mechanism to to move the uh, body tube upward and downward so course adjustment it is a knob with rack and pinion mechanism to move the body tube up and down to focus the object or to focus the specimen on the slide it is used for approximate focusing so its rotation that is course adjustment when we rotate the course adjustment it will move the uh, body tube vertically upward and downward okay means vertically it will move the body tube vertically means it can be lifted upward or uh, it can be pulled down using this course adjustment so there is also fine adjustment this is a, sno a small knob for exact focusing okay it will move when we turn this uh, fine adjustment knob what happens this body tube will move only very little so that we can focus on the object for we it is used for exact focusing its rotation can move the body tube only through a very small vertical distance okay the other one that is the course adjustment will move the body tube through long distance the next is about the optical part so th this much what we discussed were the mechanical parts of the microscope next is the optical parts of the microscope substage condenser it is a component fixed to the lower surface of the stage we discussed about the stage that is stage is the place where we keep the specimen or the slide slide on which specimen is kept or mounted so just below this uh, stage there is this cup, uh, substage condenser and uh, uh, this is used to gather the light rays from the source and illuminate the specimen with a small cone of light with sufficient intensity so this substage condenser that will gather all the light which is reflected by the mirror okay this uh, all the light rays are gathered by this substage condenser and it will uh, what illuminate the specimen you you know above the substage condenser there is this stage and there is a small opening uh, at that place we keep this slide so this will focus all these uh, uh, light rays onto the specimen to illuminate the specimen it will uh, uh, gather this light rays in the form of a small cone of light which is having high uh, sufficient intensity to illuminate the specimen okay this is the substage condenser i'll show you this is the substage condenser okay just above the mirror and just below the stage and this will also be having a diaphragm to reduce and uh, uh, increase the intensity of light we can control the amount of light or intensity of light falling on the object or the specimen by using a diaphragm which is uh, connected to this condenser okay next is objective lens this lens is at the lower end of the body tube and it can be brought very close to the object or specimen being viewed we can use the course adjustment to move the objective lens close to the uh, specimen or towards the slide and uh, this light rays from the object are brought to focus by the objective lens okay, the objective lens will form a real enlarged and inverted image of the specimen 
okay that is what is subjective lens is doing it will form a real enlarged and inverted image so in compound microscope usually there will be three types of objective lenses 10x that is low power 45x used for high power magnification and 100x used uh, in the case of oil immersion objective <coughs> when we use uh, 100x is the oil immersion objective and here uh, this is used when we use oil uh, to uh, get a uh, higher magnification oil uh, there are specific oils available for this uh, uh, purpose next is about the ocular lens or the eyepiece so this is a magnifying convex lens uh, this is placed at the upper part of the body tube at the top end of the body tube and it further magnifies the image produced by the uh, objective lens now objective lens is forming a magnified image which is real and inverted and that image is again magnified by the ocular or the eyepiece lens and this eyepiece can be brought very close to the eye or we can bring our eyes very close to the eyepiece so the image formed by the objective lens is made to fall just inside the focal point of the eyepiece lens okay that is how it is uh, constructed the image which is formed by the objective lens will fall inside the focal point of the eyepiece lens and this uh, eyepiece it will use this image as an object it will um, uh, use uh, the object is not actually here it is the image of the object which is there and it will use this image as an object and it will magnify this image okay so an enlarged virtual image is formed here an enlarged virtual image is formed so that is done by the um, ocular lens so the image already formed by the objective lens that will fall inside the focal point of the eyepiece lens and the eyepiece lens uses this image as an object and it will again enlarge this image so an enlarged virtual image is caught by our eyes and a compound microscope usually has an ocular lens with magnifying power 10x okay, about objective lens we already discussed three types will be there 10x 45x or 40x and 100x in the case of ocular lens the magnifying power will be 10x or sometimes we uh, uh, we can also see in certain microscope 15x eyepiece so this is uh, what does this mean for 10x the image which is formed by the objective lens which fall in the uh, inside the focal point of the eyepiece okay that that image is again enlarged 10 times the image which is already formed by the objective lens is again enlarged 10 times by the eyepiece lens okay that that is meant by the magnifying power 10x for the eyepiece or uh, if it is 15x means the image formed by the the enlarged image formed by the objective lens which it is again magnified 15 times by the eyepiece okay if it is 15x then there is a light source it is external or built in to provide illumination for the specimen so this light source um, it is if it is external means uh, it will be a mirror uh, built in uh, means there will be illumination there will be light source uh, which we can switch on and off and the light is emitted fr from a part of the microscope itself that is built in light source so about the light source it usually consists of a plan or concave mirror okay plan or concave that is a plane mirror on one side and a concave mirror on the other side plan or concave mirror that is what is usually used as a uh, light source and it reflects light to the condenser lens it will uh, uh, we can adjust the mirror 
uh, when we adjust the microscope when we arrange the microscope or when we are trying to view a specimen through the microscope we can adjust the mirror in such a way that it is reflecting light to the condenser lens okay and this condenser lens will gather all the light and it will uh, uh, reflect or it will gather and uh, um, uh, divert it towards uh, the specimen as a, a high intensity light that is for the condenser lenses doing and that is uh, this condenser lens here means the substrate condenser we already uh, discussed about the substrate condenser that is what is telling here the uh, contents about the condenser lens okay here we discussed about the substrate look it is used to gather the refu diffuse light rays from the source and illuminate the specimen with a small cone of light with sufficient intensity that is substrate condenser and the lens which is seen in the substrate condenser is known as a condenser lens but it is not used for magnification it is used to gather the light and illuminate the object here for magnification we use only uh, the objective lens and the ocular lens objective lens will do the first magnification and that magnified image is used as an object by the ocular lens and the ocular lens will further magnify the first image which is formed by the objective lens in modern microscope there is a built-in electric light source at the base at the base of the microscope there is a built-in light source instead of the mirror so we can just switch on the light source and illuminate the object then there is an iris diaphragm i uh, uh, already told you there will be an diaphragm which is connected to the substrate condenser that is known as iris diaphragm it is a substage window that is fixed below the condenser it regulates the amount of light entering into the condenser so using this iris diaphragm we can reduce or increase the intensity of light which is falling on the object so what uh, happens when we adjust the iris diaphragm it will uh, uh, widen or close the central opening of the uh, stage Okay, uh, means uh, the central opening of the uh, uh, substrate condenser can be uh, widened or closed using this iris diaphragm. So it will uh, uh, control. It will allow us to control <coughs> the amount of light uh, falling on the uh, slide, the specimen on the slide through the opening on the stage. Okay. That is iris diaphragm. Then next about the lenses. So um, in the case of objective lens as well as ocular lens, it is constructed from a series of thinner lenses placed close together. That's how these lenses are um, constructed. That is objective as well as ocular lens. A series of thinner lenses. Are placed close together to form and that functions as one single uh, lens okay this ocular lens that we call ocular lens and objective lens actually it contains a series of thinner lenses and there may be sometimes eight to ten lenses for the objective and two to three for the ocular So it was, uh, and these lenses act as single lens. Okay, it it act as a single lens. It will not act as separate lenses. All these lenses act together as a single lens. Um, if there is, if there are eight to ten lenses in objective lens, it will not act as separate lenses. It will act as a single lens. In the case of ocular, when there is two or three, uh, two to three lenses in this ocular, it uh, then also it will act as a single lens. and uh, microscope is used to get a magnified image of the object that we know and what is the magnification available in the microscope the best magnification possible is 1500x that is the object is magnified 1500 times that is meant by 1500x 
the size of the the actual size of the object or the uh, specimen that is magnified some 1500 times by the microscope that is meant by 1500x so the magnifying power of a compound microscope is the function of the magnifying power of the objective and that of the eyepiece that is objective lens and that of the ocular lens when we uh, multiply the uh, <clears throat> magnification of objective lens and ocular lens we get the magnifying power of the microscope so these are the images of uh, different images of different uh, dif uh, images of different uh, microscopes look all the parts that we discussed we can see here about the foot there is the foot uh, or the base it is also known as the foot then there is the pillar in different diagrams we can see it will there will be some changes in the uh, names so in here instead of a base it is known as foot but the uh, about the main parts it will be the that uh, name and the name will be same in every uh, textbooks there is the eyepiece draw tube body tube objective then stage diaphragm is there then condenser, substrate condenser, uh, diaphragm means that iris diaphragm. Then there is the mirror, coarse adjustment, fine adjustment. Okay, this is a compound microscope. <coughs> and this is the, the image formation. You can see the image is... The first arrow which is uh, shown here is the image. Then the... Uh, not the image, the object then the objective is forming an image here a small image and eyepiece is, is forming a larger image okay at the other side the objective is forming a smaller image that to a magnified image and, uh, and that is used by the eyepiece to form a for again form an image which is of higher magnification this is another image of a microscope. Okay, you can see here in this inclination joint we told this uh, um, microscope can be moved. You can see here the microscope is tilted and kept. This is a new, um, this is a modern microscope. You can see there is a built in illuminator built-in illum illuminator is here okay you can see the light source it is marked illuminator then this is another image of a light microscope next is about the working principle or the image formation so how this image is formed it is formed with the help of this complex system of lenses lens arrangement because of this uh, complex lens arrangement we are getting this magnified image 